Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we are going to do analytical geometry. Now analytical geometry is basically a lot of geometry based around straight lines. Right, the first thing we're going to learn is the distance formula. What this means is usually if I ask you the distance of a standard line If you at point 2 and I ask you what is the distance from point 2 to point 5, you'd simply be able to tell me 3. But we use the formula when we are working with lines that are slant and the points are based on two coordinates in the Cartesian plane. So how do we go about calculating the distance? If I give you a line and I give you two coordinates, Right, what I'm going to do is when we starting, and this you'd see throughout analytical geometry, the first thing you do is you mark one bracket x1, y1, and the other one x2, y2. Then you substitute and you solve. Right, it does not matter which one you label one and which one you label two. As long as when you label it, you mustn't have a different number for x and a different number for y. That is where the mistake would come in. So to calculate the distance, I've marked it. Now I go to the formula and I simply substitute into the formula. So I've got x2 as 8 minus my x1 is 1, close bracket squared, plus, and then I've got my x2 is 3, minus, and then look, my y1 is negative, so I have negative 3. The formula has a negative, and the substitution has a negative, which means we end up with two negatives, which eventually give us a positive all squared. So we have the root of 8 minus 1 is 7 all squared plus 3 minus minus will give me a plus 3 plus 3 all squared is 6 squared. Right then you can simply press it into your calculator which will give you the root of 85. If they ask you they want it in third form it means that your answer must be a root sign. But if they ask you they want it in a decimal form, then you press on your calculator, you have an SD button. You press that and you'd get a decimal of 9,22. The button SD means you're moving from third form to decimal form, or from decimal form to third form. Right, let us take the same question but instead of marking it as x2 and x1, we're going to change its markings. So we're going to have 8 and 3, and we're going to have 1 and minus 3. But we're going to mark them differently. We're going to make this one x1, y1, and we're going to make this one x2, y2. Now we know the formula is d equals 2, and then we're going to substitute. Now we've got x2 as 1 minus x1 is 8, close brackets all squared, plus. Then we've got x2 as minus 3, and then the formula says minus, and then y1 is 3, all squared. So we've got d is equal to the root of open brackets negative 7 all squared plus open brackets negative 6 all squared. If you press it into your calculator, you will get the same answer. So it does not matter which one you make x1, y1 and which one you make x2, y2. Thank you for watching.